Hi, I'm Dennis Nestler, Editor-in-Chief of Lodging Magazine. I'm here with Ken Cruz and Pam Cruz, uh, co-founders of Soul Community Planet. Ken, welcome. Pam, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to be here. Thanks Great. for taking the time with us. It's our pleasure. Um, talk a little bit about Soul Community Planet. Uh, you guys are growing a portfolio and some more things in the pipeline. Kind of, uh, tell us what's happening. Sure. Uh, Pam and I got together in 2018 and um, We've, all been in the, we've both been in the industry for a long time and we saw so many good things that are being done by so many great companies, but we also saw a growing need that was not being met and that is serving conscious consumers. So our brand is oriented around the values of healthy, kind and green. It's another way to say our brand, Soul Community Planet. Um, and we formed it as a means to advance those very core values of healthy, kind and green that, that we abide by, we sort of embrace and we thought, geez, if we can create a company that meets a need that's not being met in our industry, that it aligns with our own core values and, and corresponds with the skill sets that we've developed over our careers. We're not guaranteed success, but it certainly will make it more fun and, and our chances of success should be that much higher. Great, and you guys recently achieved a milestone. I think you put out a release on it. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah. Pam, a little bit more about it, Pam? Pam runs our awareness, brand, and culture side of the business, and part of the brand is our core values themselves, as I said. Sustainability, and now we use the term regenerative travel, is a key element of the, of the planet um, value. So maybe, sorry. Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, as we said, if I could just back up for soul, community, and planet. So starting with soul is taking care of self, taking care of our guests. Um, community is the social good and kindness, as, as Ken mentioned, healthy, kind, and green. And then, of course, green, um, very focused on regenerative travel, and we just reached a milestone with our net zero waste mm -hmm. um, program, and we're also getting certified by EarthCheck for our second property, um, and well on our way to continuing throughout the portfolio. So um, those values stand strong, and um, we want to continue to evolve. Um, we talk a lot about culture at SCP, and the culture is Soul Community Planet. How do we bring that to life every day in our teams? And those teams are from the centralized team down to the property, the frontline teams. Um, and every week we have a call and we go through what we call the SCP way. And we have um, lots of practicum, if you will, um, practices in our SCP way. One example is a simple concept of, you know, we are growth-minded, not fixed-minded. Sounds very basic, but how do you bring that to life every day, whether it be in operations or in involving um, new initiatives? Um, so it's very fundamental to SCP to continue to practice that and evolve ourselves. Um, and here we are at nine properties and yeah. continuing to grow. And well, and what you just described speaks to, I think, one of our key differentiators is that the folks who are drawn to work with SCP are also sharing the same values that the folks who are drawn to stay in an SCP hotel. So we flipped over that traditional mindset where it's sort of transactional and give us your money, go stay in the hotel room, we're going to try to make your stay as good as possible, but you know, we're here to make a profit off of you versus, no, we're all here for the same reasons. Um, and working with our team on drawing out those values and, and the elements of our SCP way in a, in a way that now resonates very strongly with our guests is such a neat way to bring that whole concept of us all being on the same side instead of against one another um, to, 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 to fruition and, it, and it's worked quite well within our organization. Uh, how, where are you in terms of brand recognition, would you say? I mean, uh, you, you, both with the industry and as well as with the consumer. Yeah, interesting. Okay, timely question. Because we're here at, this, at the Alice Conference, which is such a great, I think, test kitchen for is the brand working, is what we're seeing actually what others are seeing and how are people responding to it. And certainly we're getting more and more uh, folks coming up to us saying, hey, we love what you're doing. So that's, that's a great validation. It's a, you know, kind of a, a um, uh, gives us a, a sense of, um, of wind in our sails as we continue to, to grow the brand. So overall, Brand recognition is, is good, however, we only have nine properties, so we've been very thoughtful about how we grow. We, we own, operate, and brand all of our hotels, so by that nature, it's a little bit slower to grow than if we just had a pure franchising model. Um, with a small portfolio like that, it's hard to build the brand network effect that you'll see with one of the major brand en engines, you know, the Hiltons, the Hyatts, the, the merits of the world with hundreds of millions of loyal members, if somebody has a great stay at a Marriott hotel and they go home and tell five of their friends, you know, that's gonna, that's gonna benefit a Marriott hotel somewhere in the very near future as all five of those people are likely to stay at a Marriott hotel. In our case, uh, we certainly view our product as being brand advocates. So when people come and stay in our hotels, uh, we want them to leave, to leave ecstatic about what they experienced and know that it was something very different. We want them to go home and tell 10 of their friends 
Um, and what we'll ultimately get to when we have that network effect with a much larger portfolio is when they tell 10 of their friends, eight of them are going to end up staying at one of our hotels at some point in the next six months. And so mm -hmm. we're getting, we're early on that process, but uh, we're certainly seeing some really promising signs of that brand advocacy working uh, very powerfully with our, with our concept. And franchising is not in the future, that's not part of your model or maybe potentially? Okay, that's a great question. It goes right back to what Pam said, that we're so maniacal is probably a strong word, but appropriate one in, the, in terms of our culture. Uh, we worry if we were to franchise this out, it's very difficult to maintain the level of adherence to our culture organization-wide that we would need to, to, to continue to build the strength of the brand. So for now, we want to own, operate, and, um, and brand all of our properties to, principally for that culture, um, culture aspect. Sure. And, and how's the event uh, been for you so far? How's the event been for you so far? Great. <laughs> it's like um, Alice is back and big. <laughs> yeah, better than ever, right? Yeah, yeah it certainly is. Yeah. yeah, it's good to see. It's good to see a lot of people back. And uh, your outlook for the for the industry uh, going forward for twenty three? Yeah. Um, so we did our budgeting process. So we're continuing our, our budgeting process is somewhat dynamic. So we're continuing to refine things. But when we started back in October, my viewpoint. And I'm a pretty optimistic guy. My viewpoint was this is going to be a really tough year. <laughs> Economically, we're seeing real all the indications of a slowdown in the economy. Um, but as we work through the process and we're seeing leading indicators through our properties, the opposite seems to be holding true, at least for the types of hotels that we have, where trends continue to move upward, our budgets are definitely showing positive growth for 2023. So in general, we see um, I think it's going to be a lumpy year for our industry, but we see certain product types and experience offerings as uh, performing quite well, even into 2023 and beyond. I think we, we do also tend to have a very long-term view. We're at the front end of what should be a very prolonged and powerful growth phase for our industry. We definitely need to get through this turbulence of the higher interest rates and the inflation and working our, our way through all that. But it's going to set the stage for many, many years of, of, of growth and we're looking forward to kind of getting around that corner. Let's get through 2023, whatever that brings, because 24 and beyond look pretty promising. Yeah, I would agree. Thanks so much for your time. And Thank you. Enjoy the rest Thank of the you. day. I appreciate it, Dennis. Thank, Thank you so much. Appreciate it.